Hey guys, Nick of Diecast of Use42, back with another video, and uh, decided to make another one of these videos to talk about some things. I did miss some things in the last NASCAR Heat Evolution video that I did do. Uh, yeah, so this is basically going to be another NASCAR Heat Evolution video. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be more about me talking about things that they're adding, uh, not things that I want to see, or not things that should be taken out of the game, stuff like that, uh, but mostly, like, what's going to be implemented, what's already been shown, and stuff like that. So, uh, as of now, they have shown a lot of the, like, pre-race ceremonies, I guess you can call it, which I think look amazing. Uh, for Pocono, they did a Pocono one, they have Daytona, Kentucky. Uh, if you guys didn't see those, I don't know, you can just look them up on YouTube. They look absolutely amazing just for the pre-race. I don't know if they're going to be online, if they're going to have the same exact thing online. Uh, but that's like a whole different situation. But the whole pre-race stuff with the NBC and Rick Allen, I think, is a really, really cool addition. It just brings more authenticity to the game itself. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is... Uh, the challenges that they're going to have. They had challenges in NASCAR Inside Line, I want to say it was. I think that was the last time they had them. That or NASCAR 14. Uh, they might even have them in NASCAR 15. I don't even know. But I like that they're having challenges in there. Uh, some of the challenges I'd like to see is like... Kyle, be like Kyle Busch at the Indy 500 and try to stay out front and win the race. Uh, another cool one I'd like to see, which they already are going to have, I think they already confirmed it, is the Daytona 500 with Martin Truex Jr. try to be Martin Truex Jr. and win the race. Uh, that's another cool addition. Uh, another one I'd like to see is the Phoenix race with Kevin Harvick and Carl Edwards with the side-by-side -side finish. Uh, but yeah, those are just some of the things maybe having to be like, say, Austin Dillon in at Talladega trying to win and beat Brad Keselowski in the final lap. Something like that is pretty cool. Uh, I really I really like it because people, if they don't play online, they'll just get bored of multiplayer. Uh, I mean, not multiplayer. They'll get bored of single player. and I mean, they want something else to do. For me, if I get bored, I mean, I'll go do some of those. I don't know if you have to buy them. I remember in NASCAR Inside Line, you did have to buy the challenges, which I really thought wasn't that bad to buy them because they were kind of worth it, but at the same time, they should just be implemented into the game in the beginning anyway. Uh, so yeah, challenges is a really big thing. Not really, but I think it's really cool that they're bringing them back. I think they're bringing them back. I don't know if they've had, in, in, have had them in NASCAR 14 or NASCAR 15. Uh, what else? Well, something that they said that they're doing is better crash physics. That's something that I missed in the last video I was going to talk about. Crashing physics. Uh, there's some screenshots I'll try to put up on the screen right now. Uh, I probably won't, though. Uh, but there are some screenshots of, like, Danica Patrick crashing. I think Kyle Larson crashing. Uh, Kyle Busch crashing. And then uh, I think there's a couple other videos of, like, crashes and stuff like that, but we really haven't got to see the full extent of the damage and stuff like that yet. But I really think that this crash model is going to be better than anything else because that's something that a lot of people complained about. So I think it's something that they will fix and they will do better on, which, I mean, they haven't made any of the past NASCAR games, but it's something that they'll do better than the last creator of the game. Uh, what else? I think that's basically it. Sorry about my phone going off. Uh, but I think that is it. I don't know, I just wanted to make the small video, touch up on some things that I missed in the last video, plus, you know, talk about the NASCAR challenge and stuff like that. Sorry this is kind of a short video, uh, but make sure to check out my other videos. I've been posting more diecast reviews lately. And also, uh, be prepared for the Watkins Glen, uh, video that I'll be posting sometime Monday or Tuesday. I am posting this on the Tuesday before Watkins Glen, so next week, make sure to check that out, and uh, that's basically it. Kind of a short video, not really, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later.